Good evening. Afternoon. There is a gang of us. I've got Gemma there. Oh, she's laughing because um, the child of the gang, Phil, he's with me. He was last with me in a video at Margate two years ago. And then we got Mark. Mark's there. The usual, the usual Mark's there. Now, we are Minis Bay. Uh, is it Grenham Bay? Possibly going towards that <coughs> over low. And we're gambling. We're gambling. It's the middle of <laughs> April and we're going to see, well I'm going to see, whether the hounds have turned up yet. So, I've got baits for hounds with crab and I've also got baits for rays which can show up here. So hopefully if the hounds haven't turned up yet, we might get some skate. Right, please be careful on these stairs because they are going to be very slippery. Very slippery. So I'll watch what I'm doing first. Right, now... My boots aren't overly warm. Yours aren't waterproof. We better walk around. Anyway, right, we're going to walk around this puddle. They can go through. We're going to get down to the to the water's edge set up hopefully get into some fish so we're here at the water's edge Grenham Bay low tide lows in about I think about an hour hour and a bit um, it's a big tide today very big tide that's lovely isn't it with the sun in the background where is that there we go look at that stunning um it's a big tide about 101 coefficient i think today so um big disparity between low and high there's a tiny little onshore breeze it's ideal conditions just don't know if the hounds have arrived yet no one's fishing here so they're obviously not here in numbers because once someone knows everyone knows and this place gets busy but someone's got to be the first to catch and there has to be a night, which is the first night, first evening that they come in. Could be tonight, could be tomorrow night, could be next week. Just don't know. <coughs> You've got to be in it to win it, basically. You've got to be down here trying. So that's what we're doing. We're trying. We're going to mix it all up. We're going to have six rods out. Um, Gemma and myself, we're going to have a rod each. Mark's going to fish two, and Phil will fish two. And we're going to go... Some with fish baits, some with crab baits. And if we don't get a smooth hound, we may get a skate. If we don't get a skate, we may get dogfish. May even get a bass. So we're gonna get some rod set up, get baited up and start wading. So Phil, yes. um, you've come over, haven't you, to uh, pinch some bait, huh? and you've got wrapper worms and squid. So, with the squid, yep. you're probably narrowing it right down to just a possible bass or dogfish, yeah? But bass is unlikely at this time of year. They are about, but unlikely, if you put squid with a fish bait as a cocktail yeah you got a chance of bass and skate as well so if you put a bit of bluey on with that you got to, you're opening up your chances as well because they're more likely yeah uh, especially this time of year to be digging a bit of fish bait and with your worms if you put worms out they might be whiting out there and you might get dogfish yeah 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 cool right so you're going to scratch with one yeah. And then put a smallish bait on the other one, yeah? Yeah, just kind of muck around with one in. Right, cool, 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 cool. All right, mate, good luck. So, the two rods that I've set up are my Synetic Cross Power Heavy. That's um, the one that I'm clipping this pulley rig. I've just got a long pulley rig. I've just clipped an imp on the bottom there because I've just got a plain lid. I want to clip this down, so I've just put an imp on there, just like that. And then the business end, 
I've got a large um, Black Magic hook DX point on that. That's going to be used on a hardback crab. So we'll clip that on to the Synetic cross power now. That's going to be the one going for hounds. That's the one that I'm going to bring in. Then I've got my Sonic Gravity, but I've put the handle of the reel on the other side for Gemma. And on this one, I'm putting a pulley dropper rig on. There it goes, clipped on that pulley bead. And then I've got a 3 0 and an offset. We're going to put a small fish bait out. And this one, see if there's any thornbacks around. Um, if not, if there's a bass, it should take it as well. Uh, Gemma hasn't had a skate, so she's had a good smooth down from here. So I'll give her the option of getting something a little bit different. So the two rigs are clipped on. Let's go and get baited up. I have a hard back here. Just going to fold these pinches in because he's got me there. So I'm going to fold them in. Hold them like that. And they're going to go through the back leg socket. There. I'm going to come out the other side. Hopefully. There, that'll do. And then what I'm going to do is take him around the back there. I'm going to have bait elastic. Those two back legs that side together. So he's still alive, he's still got a bit of movement, but he's not going to be able to bury himself. Right, there we go. Happy with that. I'm going to come around to the other side and just bait elastic that one to the shank or to the curve of the hook there. Like so, that'll do. Happy with that on there. Hanging nicely, hooks in there, done. So we've got hardback ready on that rig, pulley rig, to go out. Now it doesn't really matter, the distance we're gonna be getting out, it doesn't matter whether we've got a pulley rig or a pulley dropper, because the angle of the line going out to the lead is gonna be so shallow that most of the bait, even on a pulley rig, is gonna be on the bottom. So I'm gonna be targeting anything on the bottom or just above it with that pulley rig just helps me get out of any snags if that crab gets me into it before i bait the other one up let's get this hard back out see if any hounds have turned up now if you come here wading just be aware that as much as most of it is pretty flat. There are some rocky outcrops, so just go carefully. Oh, it's dropping there. There's a bit of depth here. Let's hope there's some fish in this. Yeah, there's definitely depth here. To my waist, over my waist actually. six inches off my waders. My waders, so let's get this out. That's flowing out there, that's nice. That's in good water. Let's just hope there's some hounds about. We'll loosen the drag. And as I walk back, that pick up the line. Rod is in the holder, just going to set its drag so that the hound does take it and run off with it. But I don't want the tide to take it off. There's a bit of uh, right to left out there. 
that should do. What do you think? You think you got one or not, Phil? Missed it again. Getting bites. Yeah. What are you getting bites on? Uh, squid and bluey. Squid and bluey. So it could be rays. But I would have thought you'd hook one. Could be little smooth hound pups. Could be. Just nipping the bait. Next time, just let it let it develop a bit. Yeah, mate? Yeah, will do. Let it go for a little bit. Definitely nothing on there, no? No, it dropped back first, so I tightened it up again. Shit, and then, anything on there and no. get it tap, tap, tap again, so I put it in. Okay, mate. Well, there's bites though, isn't there? Yeah. It's good. Lucky, mate. So, bone pump a little bit of squid here for the second bait. I'm going to just put it on one side of a bluey, small bluey tail. And uh, wrap this up. Now, and get this on the pulley dropper. So, this is quite a good bait combination, squid and bluey, to cover... The other largest species that I can catch here. So, dogfish should take this, not that I want that. But, a, um, a ray or a bass will take this. And I think the tide has turned already. Let's get this on and get this out. Wow, there we go. Let's get this out. It is a lovely evening. Wow. Perfect. Right, that's out there.
So, hmm. The tide prediction for today is about half an hour out. Which means we were half hour late. The tide is racing in, racing in quick. Um, it's um, probably come up, I would say it's probably come up two inches in the last 10 minutes. So we'll be moving back in a minute. Phil's had a couple of bites. Nothing much else, but there were, there's been a couple of swirls out there. So I think there's some bass about. It's such a lovely evening. I mean, you really don't mind blanking when the evening is like this. It is stunning. So the issue with big tides is that there is a lot of water to come in and to go out. And it's coming in now and it is coming in at a rate. And I've just had a bite. Yeah, I've got a bite, right. We have a bite. Come on. All right, so we're over with Phil and he has got a bite on this near side rod. Just let it go, mate. Oh, yeah, 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 go on. Have that, have that, have that, have that strike, strike on that. Got it? You must have that. It feels a little bit heavier than before. Yeah, you've got something there, mate, surely. Oh, the full yes. Phil has got a fish, I think. Can't feel anything now. No. You've got to have got that. That was pulling right down on that. Dogfish, I think. No? No, it's gone really light now. It's gone light. Little smooth round pups, maybe, mate. That was really pulling. Yeah, that's what it's been the uh, uh, last three or four bites I've had like And that. what bait's that on? Uh, squid and bluey. bluey. Get another one out quickly then, mate. Right, this is going out. I'm just going to do a little light overhead into the, where we were wading. See if there's any bass about. Nice. This is ripping in. I'm going to pack down one of the rods because I literally cannot keep up. So I've just had to double check, check the tide out because uh, this is, at, I mean, we're nearly through on the session. We've barely been here two hours. Um, and it said we're at uh, we're 8.46 now and it said that low was 7.47. Now this has been pushing a bit longer than that and it is really pushing it is coming up so quick we are moving 20 meters every 10 minutes incredible phil's missed a couple of decent bites and me and mark haven't had a thing and that's fishing and my recent sessions have been a lot like this I'm going to race across here. I'm not racing because I don't know where I'm walking. I'm on rocks now. But Mark has saved the blank. Well done, mate. With a dogfish. Oh, mate. Saved the blank, innit? Yeah, mate. Yeah, don't have that in your finger. Have a look, mate. There he is. Very nice, mate. Very nice indeed. 
Very nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Save yourself a blank, mate. Well no, done. Mate. Cheers, mate. Are you going to let him go? Yeah, he can slide off here. He can slide off here. Look at that. Right below our feet. Well, and he's gone. There he is. He's in the light. Give me off. Back. To see. Or back in. Don't know where he's going, does he? He doesn't know where he's going. Right. These are absolutely, <laughs> these are a bunch of idiots. <laughs> we have called that a day. Why have we called that a day, everyone? Because it's racing in, mate. I haven't seen nothing like it. Never seen That's nothing. Right. Racing in. It's the fastest type. Never seen anything like that. Never. 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 The accent. Yeah, the accent. Like I think they're taking a mick. They're taking a mick. They've been doing it all the time. They think they're funny. But um, yeah, it was racing in. Um, we probably moved back. A hundred meters. Warning. In. Oh, here we go. I got them all. Um, probably moved back a hundred meters in about forty minutes. It was racing. There we go. So, luckily, Mark got himself a dogfish to save a blank. I had a bite. Well, I had two bites, but one I missed. Phil had three, me. missed them all. She's you are. She's moaning at me about the dogfish. She's mo oh, moaning because the dogfish went back because she loves the dogfish. But anyway, it was an enjoyable short evening. Yeah, and now we're going back to get some food. So from me and from everyone here, Racing what is it? No, Racing. what is it? Come on. Racing in. No. Tight lines. Never seen anything like there we are, Mark knows it. Tight lines. See you later. I think someone's waders may have holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. sighs>